Madam Speaker, today I honor the groundbreaking service of a Livingston County woman who never even planned to live in the area, much less, much less to make history there. Fortunately, life has had its own plans for Elsie McPherson Brown, and the community is so much better for it. Livingston County sits at the crossroads of several major highways, and when Elsie McPherson Brown was driving one of them to go visit some family and friends, she took a wrong turn and ended up in the northern community of Heartland, Michigan. Elsie liked what she saw on that unexpected outing, and after further investigation, including meeting with the superintendent um, and school principals, she convinced her husband to relocate from Heartland to Heartland from Detroit with their two elementary school-age boys. It's worth noting that Livingston County was and remains to this day an overwhelmingly white community, but Elsie and her family were undeterred. From the beginning of their time in Heartland, Elsie drove dove into community service, volunteering in her kids' classrooms, organizing fundraisers, chairing Teacher Appreciation Day events, and serving on the PTO. In 2003, Elsie took her service to a new and historic level when she successfully ran for the Board of Education of Heartland Consolidated Schools, becoming the very first African-American woman and the only, only the second African-American in modern history to be elected to public office in Livingston County. Her story is not without challenges, particularly when it comes to race relations. She often shares how a grocery store manager insisted her personal check was fraudulent because he refused to believe that a black woman in Livingston County um, uh, was living in Livingston County and addre to address um, at the address that was stated, or the local police officers who questioned her youngest son and refused to believe he was simply heading home for the same reason. But Elsie chose to rise above and set her focus and her intentions on the things that she loved about the community and the commonalities she shared with her friends and with her neighbors. Supported by the voters, Elsie served 10 years on the school board and fulfilled her goal of having a voice in shaping the education of the next generation. She was known for her calm demeanor, her colorful outfits, and the many hats she wore about town, perhaps representative of the different hats she wore in life. Wife, mother, advocate, trailblazer. While she has stepped down from public office, today she continues her life of quiet service to the community in her work in the Livingston County Sheriff's Office. Elsie McPherson Brown may have stumbled onto Heartland accidentally, but it's no accident that she changed the course of Heartland's history. Her story deserves to be told, uplifted, and for forever preserved here in the permanent record of the People's House.